Well, he's the psychic called on by celebrities and even some of the royals to look into their future and speak to lost loved ones. Now, Harry T is back to do the same for you in an, another edition of Ask the Psychic. Yes, and Harry joins us live from Melbourne. Harry, good to see you, sir. How are you doing? Good Very morning, well, guys. Excellent. Two of my favourite people. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Now, first up, we have Suzanne, who wants to know more about her future. Okay. Hi, this question's for Harry T. I was just wondering um, when I would have some stability in my personal life as it's been something that has been lacking for quite a long time and I've been wondering when um, I'd end up having some stability with a really nice long-term partner. So any advice would be grateful. All right, what do we see oh. for Suzanne there? You know, she's just got this beautiful aura about her. As soon as I connected with her energy, I just felt that she was someone that actually helps a lot of people in her personal life. And the message there was the reason that she hasn't found the stability for herself is because she's overexerting herself with other people. I feel like there are people around her that might have relationship issues that she helps them with. And I think for some reason she's attracting that same energy. I know that she was in a relationship, I can see it in my head, and there was something that just didn't click. It was almost like um, a commitment phobe is what I just heard. So she needs someone that wants to commit, that's not scared of committing. And I actually do feel that is in within the next 12 months for her. I don't know what this means, but there's a feather from heaven that's about to um, stumble across in her path mm -hmm. and I feel in the next three days she's going to see this so in the next three days she's going to see a feather it could be on the floor just out of nowhere and I feel that's a sign from heaven saying that we're with you that you're going to be okay and we're going to send you the right person okay wow. yeah. now Harry this next viewer wanted to remain anonymous but Ooh. they also wanted the opportunity to ask your question so here okay. it is okay it's been challenging few months for me in terms of my health so in this regard, I'm wondering whether there are any new challenges ahead of me or is this going to improve or pass anytime soon and what steps I could take to help it. Wow. So okay. What do you think? Well, that's quite interesting because immediately, as soon as I connected with the energy, and this just proves it's got nothing to do necessarily with the face, there was no face there. <laughs> um, as soon as I connected with the energy, I did feel that it has been quite a difficult period for her. Um, I actually do feel it's going to be improving. Of course, when it comes to medical advice, you always have to go with what the doctor says, but I actually feel that she's going to be getting better. She's had three or even more different things that have happened, which is why she's worried. So it's not been one issue, that's what I pick up, but I do feel it's going to be a smoother road ahead. I think that she's on either the right medication, something is stabilising her, and something might be chemical there as well, which is probably why it's been hard to diagnose. So something might have chemically happened within her body, but I do feel that she's going to be able to handle this a lot better. So the good news is, the road ahead for her is going to be easier, as she's not going to have another thing come up, because oh. she has. She's had many. Let's yeah. hope she's a million dollar mum once again. Yes, Jackie, so has a, good que vibes. a question about the future of okay. her career, Harry. Ooh. Hi, Harry. I'm about to turn 53 and after working for the past 25 years in school administration, I have just resigned. I'm wanting to start my own cake decorating business um, and I'm looking for some reassurance as to whether it's worth my time and effort and I'm going to be successful or whether I should be looking for something else. I have had some positive and negative feedback about what I want to do, but I'm sure I can make it work. We always need our cakes being decorated, Harry. Will she have a successful business one day, do you think? You know what's quite interesting? I feel that this is something that she's meant to do. Yeah. So she, it's almost like it was a calling for her. So working in a job for 25 years, quite well she did her job, I, I'm sure. It's almost like she knew that she wanted to do her own cake business. So it's always been in her energy. And people that have been doubtful around her, they're just fearful of it not working out. But don't let that energy come into your vibe, Jackie, because I actually feel that you can do this and you will do it. And I feel a lot of people getting really interested in it. The key message here, though, is social media. I don't know if you're not that social media savvy, but they're showing me here that you need to be a little bit more social media savvy to maybe get the word out. But if you can actually get on top of that technolo technology stuff, yeah. you're going to do really well with this. I actually have a very good feeling, and I think that the energy she puts into making the cakes is why it will do well. Exactly. So, That's what they say, don't they, Harry? If you love oh, what you true. do, you'll never work a day in it's your life. It's true. Yeah. That's why you guys are brilliant at what you do. Oh, <laughs> so Thank you, Harry. Now, if you have a question for Harry T, email your videos to todayextra at nine.com.au.